Sumner County EMS now says increased response times are inevitable after major changes in Millersville. 17 firefighters walking off the job in protest after the city fired their chief Tuesday. Now just one firefighter remains. News Channel 5 investigative reporter Levi Ismail has tracked down answers all day on what this means for the small community and emergency response in the future. The fire department bays behind me are closed in Millersville and they may end up staying that way. The parking lot also practically empty. Now the city says that they had good reason to let go of their fire chief, but it now leaves them with just one firefighter left in the city. As a grandparent, Jamie Brown knows she's almost always yeah. on watch. So oh, he's got does have a little boy he's playing with. That's good. Even when Grammy and uh, Grammy, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm talking. Has an important news interview. <laughs> It's his safety that matters most for Brown. But as of yesterday, she's not sure where help is coming from. I'm concerned now. Because I, I mean, I had no idea. When she first moved to Sumner County, Brown says all that was here was the Millersville Fire Department. Years later, and now only one firefighter remains. 17 firefighters walked off the job in protest Tuesday after interim city manager Tina Tobin fired Chief Brandon Head. Uh, those decisions were not just made uh, without serious thought as to the effects. City so attorney Brian Kroll says a mutual Kroll. agreement with the White House and Goodlettsville Fire Departments will provide emergency response to cover Millersville in the short term. Millersville right now has more coverage in this city than they did before. There may even be less uh, lag time from calls because White House and Goodlettsville are both full-time fire departments. The city of Goodlettsville sent News Channel 5 investigates a statement saying Millersville will receive the same level of service from Goodlettsville Fire. However, they cannot be the sole fire department for Millersville. I think it's really irresponsible for us to rely on other communities and take from their communities because of the decision that Tina made. Millersville Commissioner Christina Template says it's simply too much power for an interim city manager to change the face of a city in a month. Since the beginning of the year, Millersville has fired and replaced their city manager, city attorney, police chief, and now fire chief. It just, it's hard. It's, it's taken a toll on our citizens and, you know, this has caused our citizens to go, what is going on? So I think this was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back for our community. Kroll says they fired Chief Head because he wasn't being transparent about why he had a police commission card and why he deleted everything from his city-issued phone. Head told News Channel 5 Investigates it felt more like an interrogation. I don't know what the rules are or aren't with that, and I'm not going to sit here and act like I do. However, do I think that Brandon maliciously did anything or you know, tried to hide the truth? Absolutely not. Kroll says they're now trying to hire more firefighters as soon as they can, but have no idea when that may happen. For now, these doors will stay closed. We just have to turn it around somehow, some way. With News Channel 5 Investigates, I'm Levi Ismail. Millersville's Board of Commissioners will meet next Tuesday at 530 and are expected to vote on whether to fire interim city manager Tina Tobin.